Yo, what's going on guys? Today, I'm going to be watching and reacting to Kill Bill Volume 2. So, of course, I watched the first volume uh, about a week ago now, maybe? I don't know, something like that. And I thought it was actually a pretty enjoyable movie. It wasn't like my favorite movie ever or anything, but like I really didn't have a fun time watching it. And I could tell, like, I think like an hour and a half throughout through the movie that it was going to be like a one full movie just split up into two parts sort of a deal a lot of people were explaining that in the comments that's yes that is how they originally planned it which makes perfect sense because it doesn't feel like you know two different movies with two different stories no it was like just they got halfway through what they were doing there and then they're like all right let's do the other half a year later which is a good idea because a four hour long movie i mean i feel like any movie longer than three hours is a problem i, I really do because people don't have long attention spans I don't think many people want to sit there for more than three hours. If it's going to be more than three hours, either cut it up into parts or like, I don't know, make it a TV series. I have no idea. I don't think it's ever a good idea to make a movie longer than three hours. So that's definitely good that they cut it up into two different parts. And we're going to be watching volume two today, which is interesting because most, I guess, sequels is, I guess this really isn't a sequel, but most sequels for movies, people usually tend to, you know, be iffy on for the most part. A lot of sequels out there are great though. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I looked at the, when I looked these up, they come up with the, the rating or whatever. I'm pretty sure they're both rated like the same. So that's based on obvious, just, you know, audience rating. And I think critics were there too. They were kind of similar. I don't really let those sway my opinion. So we'll see which one I enjoy more. But honestly, I don't think it's the case of like, you have to pick one or the other. Because like I said, they're basically the same movie. They're just, you know, they're, they're together. Just cut in half. You get the idea. You guys, you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> So let's just let's just hop right into this. Let's just check this thing out. If you want to see the full uncut version of this reaction, it'll be available on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. Don't forget to like the video as well as subscribe to my channel, as well as go check out my other channel. Uh, I do some gaming stuff on there, specifically Call of Duty, mainly Call of Duty. I do a bunch of other gaming stuff. I'm actually going to be playing uh, Jedi Fallen Order, Star Wars, that Star Wars game that came out like last year. I'm going to be playing that on Twitch soon, and I'll upload my Let's Play on that channel as well. So if you guys are interested, Go check that out. And yeah, let's just get right into this. You're aware enough, even now. Is this back to the church scene? When I woke up, I went on what the movie advertisements refer to as a roaring rampage of revenge. Bro, she's breaking the third wall. Wait, is it breaking the third wall or the fourth wall? Oh, it's the fourth wall, right? The only one left. Oh, so this is like flash forward kind of. That's hype. How about love me tender? I'd play that. Wait, is that Sam L. Jackson? Yeah. Did not know he was in this. That's pretty cool how they're showing this whole scene. I was interested as to what went down in this scene. Bro, this is being shot in such an eerie way. Hello, kiddo. Oh shit, is that Bill? I'm looking at the most beautiful Brian these old eyes have ever seen. He's a bit old for her, but you know. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the moment when he's just gonna start killing. Oh my god. What am I thinking? You should give her away! That's asking a lot. Okay. We'll forget it. But how about we go out to dinner tonight and celebrate? This guy seems pretty nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's right back there. You're gonna do that? Damn, there they are. Oh shit! They are fully kitted out. Wow, just like that. That was a crazy. That was a good opening, though. I'm glad they showed that. I think that was really important. You know, it makes you more. It makes you understand the relationship between Uma's character and Bill. You just tend to bring that out in people. I love Michael Madsen's voice, man. He played one of my favorite video game characters of all time, Carver from Telltale's The Walking Dead. If she wants to fight with me, all she's got to do is come down to the club and start some shit, and we'll be in fight. Well, we know she's going to kill them. We deserve to die. Damn. I like how different the deadly vipers are, you know, from each other. That. That fucking that. <laughs> how many times have I told you? Don't wear that fucking hat. I like the hat. I think it looks kind of dope. That I want you to keep that shit kick her hat at home she seems genuinely really offended by that comment about his hat <laughs> all 
All right, honestly, so far, this is probably the most interesting of all the Vipers that we've seen. I mean, Oren was cool. She had a lot behind her. Like, they they focused on her a lot. She was cool. I just I think I just like Michael Madsen too much. Maybe that's it. And the girl, I forget their name, the one from the first one in the very beginning. We didn't really get to see her too much, so I can't really make a good judgment off of her. I wouldn't be surprised if she's already there. <laughs> she got there quick. Well, I'm assuming this has been a decent amount of time, but you know what I mean. I feel like he's going to be the only one not to, like, fight back, really. Because as you were saying before, he thinks he deserves it. So, like, I feel like he'll probably just be like, you know, do what you got to do. His life already seems pretty shitty in its own way. So, I mean, uh, I don't know if he cared too much if she came up to him with a sword. Maybe he'd put up a little fight. I don't know. Definitely not as much as a fight as the other two, though. Oh! Excuse me, what? Uh, does she have a vest on or something? Or does she just get shot in the tits? And how the hell is she gonna get out of this one? Holy shit, how is she gonna survive? I mean, I guess, you know, her boobs, you know, they're probably protecting her heart. That's one major advantage women have over men, I think. You know, you got these big ass things here. I mean, some some girls are big. You know, you know what I mean? Protecting your heart from getting shot if you get hit here, you know? I just got this chest here, you know? It's not, it's not, it's not like out, you know? So I guess that's the way she could survive. I don't know. You're going underneath the ground tonight. I'm gonna bury her alive? Jesus. You're being buried alive. That would easily be the worst thing possible to happen to someone. <laughs> eh, actually, no, no, that's probably worse, but it's still pretty terrible. There's no one there to save him, so, save her, so, like, she's gotta save herself. How in the hell is she gonna do this? Dude, fuck that. You just die from... You probably suffocate within a little bit. I don't know how long. Bro, I can't even imagine. I can't, I just physically can't. I physically can't imagine being in that scenario. The motives of the monk remain unknown. Is known were the consequences. What does she see in this man? <laughs> I don't know. But once you've taken five steps, your heart explodes. This is gonna happen to someone, isn't it? He hates Caucasians. He despises <laughs> Americans. That's where she learned all her fighting skills at. Oh my god. What? The hell? Man, just... I mean... I don't... This is some really... Cheesy samurai stuff, but that's kind of the purpose. I kind of like it. She's gonna break her fucking hand. Ow. Ow. Because that little thing. It's kind of funny. I love the directing. We're back to this. Oh, she's gonna use that. The punching thing that she was learning, you know, punching wood up close. But like, even then, are you buried? How the hell are you gonna, I, 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 I. I guess she'll manage, I don't know, man. You punch your way out, I mean, I guess. Cause all the dirt from above would just fall, but like, I don't know, we'll see. God damn. She's climbing out of there quick. I don't know how realistic that is, but again, it's a movie, I don't care. <laughs> like a goddamn zombie. You know, realistically, maybe let's see as possible. I don't know the logistics behind that type of shit. Damn. Might not want to be so visible. Yes, the music. Hold on. She gonna kill both of them at once? So, which are you filled with? They say the number one killer of old people 
is retirement. People got a job to do. They tend to live a little bit longer so they can do it. Is that an actual study? Which are you filled with? Relief or regret? A little bit of both. Something's about to happen. I must have been venomous. That's the way she planned to take him out. I, I felt like she was gonna try to take him out somehow. The biggest R I feel is regret that maybe the greatest warrior I have ever met met her end at the hands of a bushwhacking scrub, elky piece this of shit. Girl's a like psycho. Me. She really cares that much about trying to. She wanted to t take him out herself. Or take her out herself. Well, she's gonna have her chance in a little bit.